Assalamu alaikum friends. My name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo technical developer. In the previous video, we have talked about the view inheritance and today we will cover uh, the topic uh, computed fields. So far, fields has been stored directly in NGT directly from the database. Uh, until today, uh, we have discussed about different type of fields like many to many, many to one, uh, and integer fields. So all those fields uh, were are directly stored in the database, and also when uh, we retrieve that uh, data from of that field, that uh, was retrieved directly from the database. So fields uh, in Odoo can also be computed field. This is another type of field. Uh, so the type of a computed field can be any like many to many, many to one. Um, it can be integer, it can be char, so whatever uh, you want to specify, depending on the scenario. In that case, the fields value is not retrieved from the database, but computed on the fly by calling a method of the model. So in case of computed field, the value of the field will not be retrieved from the database, but it will be computed on the method, on the basis of the method that is uh, being uh, added on the model. To create a computed field, just create a simple field and set the attribute compute uh, to the name of the method. The com computation method should simply set the value of the field to compute on every record in cell. So inside the method, we need to go through each record and uh, we need to set uh, the value of the computed field for each record by using the for loop. So this must be uh, the this must be uh, specified that for loop is used. Otherwise, you will get an error message in case of multiple records if there are two or more records inside that model. So uh, this is the uh, simple uh, uh, definition of the computed field name is equal to fields.char. In this case, that field type is char and uh, the attribute compute is equal to compute name. So compute name is the name of the method. Uh, compute name uh, and then here uh, for record in self self is uh, a record set of uh, multiple records of that model and a record will contain a single instance of that record and in this case we are specifying the name of each record because name is the computed field so another important topic uh, to cover uh, we will just uh, do it uh, practically um, through an example in uh, uh, in a bit later so dependence is another important topic that we need to cover theoretically uh, before uh, going to the development the value of a computed field usually depends on the value of the other fields on the computed records the rm x Expects uh, the developer to specify those dependencies on the computed method with the decorator depends. There is a uh, decorator in Odoo we, have, we use API that depends. Uh, so this we need to define. We need to specify the fields name uh, on which the computed field depends so you will just uh, know in this in a bit uh, later because you don't understand know what i am saying the given dependencies are used by the orm to trigger the recomputation of the field whenever some of its dependencies has been uh, modified for example here uh, we have added value uh, which is a field name we have added value as a dependent field for the name field so whenever the value of uh, value field will change this uh, computed field will recompute and its value will be updated so this is the purpose of the depends uh, decorator so for today's exercise, what we are going to do is the percentage of taken seats on the session model. So as we have already working on a scenario and uh, we have uh, developed a module where we have uh, uh, sessions. Um, so inside the sessions, we have a field like seats, reserved seats. So how much seats are available? And there we have another field which me which are attendee IDs. So which means that how many people have actually attended this uh, session? So in uh, this exercise, we are going to add another field which will be a computed field, and uh, we want to show the percentage of the taken seats. Uh, 
uh, display that field in tree and form you uh, display the field as a progress uh, bar this is the these three are the uh, task for today so first of all we are going to add a computed field inside the session model so uh, let me just copy it uh, directly from here and uh, this is the open academy dot session model and i will add it here like uh sorry just uh, let me copy it here taken seats uh taken seat is equal to uh fields dot float so the type is float and string is equal to taken seats so this will show us a, a percentage uh compute uh attribute uh, is added to make it a computed field is equal to taken seat taken seat is the name of the method that we will add here so let me just uh edit here uh, copy it from here and uh, paste it here so taken set is the name of the uh, method for our in uh, self so we want to go through each record r will contain uh, a single record if r dot seat uh, if a seat uh, is not uh, assigned a uh, make it uh, a zero if there is no seats defined i uh, make uh, the percentage is zero if uh, seats are defined then uh, add the percentage uh, for that record so let me just uh, add this in the view so what we are going to do inside the view we will add it uh, like this one uh, and uh, inside the open academy and inside the uh, here we will add it here after the seats so we can for the time being i will remove the widget to uh, show you just a simple field and then i will add uh, a widget also so let me just add it uh, inside the tree view also uh, to show you on the tree view this is the tree view so close it so let me just uh, restart it and then i will have to upgrade go here go to apps uh, and search for the module and then upgrade the module whenever we add uh, some new feeds or we make some changes inside the xml we will have to upgrade the module so go to sessions and inside the session we can see the taken set percentage is 35 and here is 2.50 if i open up the so we can see the percentage is showing here so i uh, know uh, what i want to do so if i uh, change uh, the total number of seats for example uh, if i make it uh, 50 and you can see the uh, to, uh, taken seats uh, field is not changing so let me save it and it has been changed now so this way uh, we can add the uh, api that depends to make it dependent on this uh, field so let me just add uh, api that depends api dot depends and then uh, what is the name of the field is seats so let me just restart it and then save so let me just uh, refresh it has not been started successfully so refresh it so let me just change it to uh, 20 uh, to 30 and then you can see the uh, taken seat has been changed so this is the benefit of the api that depends so how you can identify you can just look at the function and you can see that uh, the calculation of taken seats depends on uh, attendee ids and seats so just hit those two uh, field inside the api api are depends so 
or no we want to add the progress bar here so what are we are going to do we will use a widget uh, with the name progress bar to show the progress bar on the uh, form view and also on the tree view. so here on the tree view and here we will add on the form view. so let me just upgrade the module again to uh, check whether a change has been added or not so upgrade it and then uh, go to open academy and then sessions and here you can see the progress bar has been added and this is the progress bar so you can see here the progress bar has been added and so if i change to uh, 35 you can see it uh, at the taken seat a percentage became 100 percent so this means that the number of uh, seats available were 35 and 35 people attended the session so uh, thank you guys for watching this video if you uh, like this video please uh, click the thumb icon to uh, like this video and also subscribe our channel and also uh, please share with your colleagues uh, so that they can learn new things in Odoo. thank you once again